about my thirst for blood. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. The abandoned moor behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, Nurse. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. J I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. What? You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better... Goodbye, Milton. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody.
infected William Bishop must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Surely grant me access to the basement. I cannot enter. as they are ineffective, but they do contain iron tartrate and that might prove itself useful. These scowls come from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Mr. Connor's injuries don't matter. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I Signs of internal bleeding. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked.
be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still... I have some good news, Milton. What? I retrieved your wallet. Well, yeah. Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Paper's tired. You do realize you could both get fired. Come on, Dr. Reed. During the war... Maybe you're right. So what do you... I've been an amb... Since... It's a com... It's yesterday. You let... Go there, you... Are you really... And why not? But you're not... You keep it... How is the... You want to hear... I'd like to see your goods. Why should...
Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same... Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Forgive me. I... Thank you. Very Please. The Pembroke spoke discretion and you would... Pyth accepted. Dear wife, Emily, I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent... You're a vamp. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. These past insufferable weeks. Please continue. Every detail is essential. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame. I'll take care of it. If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Doctor. Simpleton 
names, these nurses. Bred with no respect. What? What? There's no need for alarm, madam. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? Dr. Swans. <laughs> How brave. Harriet Jones. Oh, Ben. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Blackmail? I... Wait. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof... This is your business, Doctor, not... Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. 